Welcome to German Grammar Videos. Thank you for watching. This presentation will examine how to use coordinating conjunctions in German. The presentation will first examine the use of coordinating conjunctions in English, focusing on how coordinating conjunctions are used to create compound structures and to join sentences together. Then the video will move over to an examination of the German coordinating conjunctions und, oder, denn, aber, and sondern before concluding with examples of how these conjunctions are used in sentences. Let's get started. On the screen you see two simple sentences. The first sentence, I speak English, contains one subject, a first person singular personal pronoun in the nominative case, I the first person singular present tense form of a verb, speak, and the direct object of that verb, English. A direct object is simply a noun or pronoun that receives the action of a verb. The second sentence, I speak German, manifests the same syntax, although the direct object of the verb, German, is different. Indeed, the first two elements of the sentence are syntactically equal, that is to say, the subjects and verbs of both sentences are exactly the same. As the first two elements of the second sentence are the same, we could merge the two sentences into one by removing the redundant elements and joining the direct objects with a coordinating conjunction, and. This creates the compound direct object you see on the screen. We can also use coordinated conjunctions to join complete sentences. Although the two sentences you see on the screen do not have any syntactically equal elements besides the subject I, the ideas presented in the sentences work together to create a sense of contrasting exception. That is to say, the subject of the first sentence is perhaps hungry and would like to eat breakfast, but the unusual exception of having to take a test prevents him or her from doing so. It is important to note that the two sentences work together to create the sense of contrasting exception. We can strengthen the sense of contrasting exception by joining the sentences with the coordinating conjunction but. As you see on the screen, a tighter integration of the contrasting ideas presented in the two original sentences is afforded through the use of this conjunction. The two original sentences now function as independent clauses in a single sentence. It is also important to note that a comma follows the first independent clause and precedes the coordinating conjunction. German also relies on coordinating conjunctions to connect words, sentences, phrases, or clauses. The conjunctions you see on the screen are those that are most frequently covered in introductory German courses. Und is equivalent to the English and, oder, to, or, den, to, for, because, and since, aber, to, but, th though, however, and sondern, to, but, instead, rather. The difference between aber and sondern will be covered in more detail at the end of this presentation. But first, let's take a closer look at how these conjunctions function in German sentences. As in English, the coordinating conjunction und, and, can be used to simplify sentences where there is syntactic equality. The two sentences you see on the screen, a translation of the sentences from the beginning of the presentation, share the same first person singular personal pronoun in the nominative case, ich and the first person singular present tense verb, spreche. As these sentence elements are syntactically equal, we can remove the redundant elements and join the remaining direct objects with a coordinating conjunction, und. This creates the compound direct object you see on the screen. We can also use und to join two sentences as a means of providing additional information. For example, the second sentence you see on the screen, sie möchte mitkommen, she would like to come with, provides additional information to the activity described in the first sentence, er geht ins Kino, 
he is going to the movies. When und is used to join these sentences, the connection between the ideas they express is made even more explicit. It is important to note that, as in English, the resulting sentence manifests two independent clauses, which are separated by a comma preceding the coordinating conjunction. It is also important to note that the syntax of the second independent clause is not altered in any way through the use of the coordinating conjunction. That is to say, the third person singular present tense modal verb möchte, would like, retains the second position in the sentence following the subject. This is the same syntax that was found in the original sentence. This is a characteristic of all coordinating conjunctions. They do not alter the syntax of the second independent clause. The coordinating conjunction oder, or, is used when presenting alternatives. These alternatives can be in the form of words or independent clauses. For example, in the sentence you see on the screen, spricht er Englisch oder Deutsch? Does he speak English or German? Oder is used to form an alternative between the language that the subject speaks. Both languages are the direct objects of the verb spricht, and therefore form a compound direct object that is comprised of two words and a coordinating conjunction. Oder can also be used to present alternatives between activities expressed in two independent clauses. The first independent clause, gehst du ins Kino, are you going to the movies, forms the first alternative, and the second independent clause, bleibst du zu Hause, are you staying home, presents the second alternative. Be sure to note that both clauses, which are questions, have a second person singular present tense verb in the first position. As you recall, German forms questions through the use of interrogative pronouns, such as wer, who, and by putting the verb in the first position at the beginning of a sentence. The coordinating conjunction oder, therefore, does not alter the syntax of the second independent clause. The coordinating conjunction den, for, because, since, is used to express a causality between two independent clauses. For example, the first clause, sie trinkt viel, she drinks a lot, is further modified by the second clause, which gives the reason why the subject is drinking so much. Sie hat Durst, she is thirsty. The coordinating conjunction den is used when the causality between the two clauses is less necessary, and the function of the second clause is to introduce helpful but possibly more parenthetical information. The subordinating conjunction weil, although having the same meaning in English as then, as den, implies a more strictly necessary condition between the two clauses. The coordinating conjunction aber, but, however, is used to express a contrast or an exception. As you see on the screen, the conjunction can be used to merge two apparently contradictory adjectives, klein, small, and stark, strong, to express the idea that the subject of the sentence, despite his small stature, possesses a remarkable physical strength. The merging of these two adjectives creates the compound predicate adjective on the screen. Of course, the same idea could also be expressed in a longer sentence that relies on two independent clauses instead of a compound predicate adjective. Er ist klein, aber er ist stark. He is small, but he is strong. Finally, it is important to note that there is a difference between aber and sondern. Although both could be translated as but into English, sondern has the additional meaning of rather, instead, and on the contrary. The coordinating conjunction sondern is used to provide contrasting and corrective information in the second clause and can only be used when a negative element such as nicht, not, nie, never, or kein, no, is contained in the first clause. For example, the sentence you see on the screen, Ich gehe heute nicht ins Kino, 
sondern ich lerne Deutsch. I'm not going to the movies today, rather I'm learning German, contains two independent clauses joined by the conjunction sondern. The first clause contains the adverb nicht, which negates the activity of the subject going to the movies. The second independent clause provides contrasting corrective information as it explains that the subject will instead be studying German. And that concludes this presentation on how to use coordinating conjunctions in German. The German Grammar video series is produced by David Neville, Associate Professor of German. The videos, scripts, and lecture slides are released under a Creative Commons attribution non-commercial, share alike, 4.0 international license. Don't be a square, remix and share.